Hello, Ryan Murray here from TheSheetMetalKid.com and I am here to demonstrate on how to install flex duct or flex pipe. Alright, let's say that we got our register can uh, installed, whether it be in the ceiling, on the wall, or in the floor. Um, and all we got to do is basically hook some flex up to it um, if we don't have a damper on it or, or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just demonstrate on how we're going to install our flex duct. Um, the tools you're going to need, of course, is a long knife, um, a pair of wire cutters, a um, panduit gun, and a panduit strap, and some tape. Um, you'll see why we need the wire cutters here in a minute, because I'm going to introduce to you what not to do as a sheet metal worker. So, let's say that we only need about eight foot, eight, but we're just going to use a small section just so to, to just for the sake of demonstration. So you want a, a, typically a really long sharp knife and you're just going to go ahead and make as straight of a cut as possible for yourself. And you can e go either way um, and go ahead and just cut this all the way through. Be careful you don't cut or stab yourself. I've seen a lot of people do that cutting flex duct. Uh, probably more so because they're so careful with the sheet metal but when it comes down to cutting flex um, they're just kind of careless with the knife and they'll end up cutting themselves with the knife. So if you see I've got this cut all the way through um, I've got a piece of wire. Um, a lot of people call it wire flex. This is the reason why it's because there's actually a little wire in there. Never ever ever use your tin sticks to cut that wire. Once you buy yourself a good pair of tin snips don't ever cut wire. Don't let electricians use your your uh, snips for any reason. Uh, make sure whoever uses your snips, if you're investing in a good pair like a Malco pair, um, they, that you're not letting just anybody in their mom use them. Um, they're a tool, they need to be used correctly and what happens if you cut this wire with these snips is you'll end up with little grooves in your snips and that's a big no-no. You don't want to do that. Okay, so you got your flex pipe cut. Um, you no longer need your knife. Um, what, you, what you need is your panduit strap. And what I like to do to make it a lot easier for myself is go ahead and get this thing started. So it's just basically a big zip tie. Set it there just like that. That way um, I can easily, it's in, it's in reach, I can get it close to where I need it to be. And um, it's because when you're fighting a lot of flex on the other end and you're trying to get it to go on, it's really not a fun thing to fight with. So regardless to what I've told you in the past as far as flange, flanges and uh, crimp ends going in first, flex is probably the only exception. So see how it fits right over the top of that? Now I know it's not going towards the inside, it's not going with the airflow, but um, that's, like I said, flex is just the exception. So if you notice on these C boxes, they have little beads on them. Um, these beads are where the metal comes out and kicks out like that. They put that in there for a reason. So that way when you slide this flex over and you pan to it, strap it, it's a little bit larger so that the flex doesn't pull up. So what we're trying to accomplish here is get the flex down on and over that bead. Um, it's a little bit different when you're crouching down and you're in it inside of an attic trying to do this, but um, for the sake of demonstration, I won't bring you into the attic. Uh, we'll let you have that fun yourself. So, um, now that I got my Panduit strap started, I can just go ahead and make sure I'm in between those two beads like we talked about. Uh, make sure my flex is all the way down, make sure my Panduit strap's wrapped all the way around, and that it's not catching this insulation anywhere around either. If it's caught on the insulation, you're going to have a hard time getting your insulation wrapped on the, on the second step here. So, we're going to get this good wrapped all the way around. So this is where the Panduit gun comes into play. Take this and you're just going to slide it in just like that. Uh, this silver part should be on the outside and this slides right over the top of it and you're going to hear it crimp down and clip it nice and tight. Now it's going to take, you'll have to choke up on it and get it a couple good times and then you'll hear that, that click. What's that doing is it's um, initiating that blade right there to cut off your panduit strap. Now your flex is on there tied. I can literally grab it by the flex and it is on. 
So I'm gonna untuck all of this. I tucked it in there just so that we can get to the flex pipe. Um, and I'm gonna let my insulation fly. I'm gonna kind of fold this back, um, pull it back down to where it needs to be. And on a shorter piece, it's a little bit more difficult. But you kind of get the point here. What we want is insulation wrapped around that collar. We want all of this stuff to fit nice and neat all the way around, like so. And that's where uh, I take my Venture tape or uh, Flex Fix tape. Um, and this is just a real thin vinyl is what it is. Um, and this is just to make sure that we're double dose um, good. A lot of guys will kind of scab, that scab things in. We'll only use this tape to connect the pipe and not a Panduit strap. That's laziness, that's not done correctly. So make sure uh, whoever's doing your install that they're using Panduit straps. That they're really fastening that flex in tight and they're wrapping tape on it. You also want to make sure when, in, when you're putting your flex pipe in that um, if say you are inside of an attic, uh, you want to make sure that none of this part and this stuff tears real easy. None of these parts of this flex are too bent. So if this, if we were turning 90 degrees, we want to kind of get a bit of a real gradual turn. We don't want to be like this. Obviously, if you look on the inside of the duct, it's completely cramped. So if you gradual turn, that's the way the duct wants to sit. That'll allow the maximum amount of airflow through that duct. And that's really what you want. When you have it ran, you don't want to run too much to where it's sitting of your ceiling joist where the insulation is because if it's sitting down there, then that's where the mice can get it and eat away. A lot of people, um, they'll put way too much flex in there. It'll be sagging down. It won't be strapped up to the joist and mice will eat it in a matter of a year or two. So you want gradual turns. You want to make sure that this isn't laying down against the ceiling or the floor. Um, and just make sure it's stra strapped up nice and neat. Make sure you got uh, plenty of natural airflow. And that's it. That's how you install your flex.